how do we get from this to this? Well, let me show you, I'm going to trace the whole thing. I'm going to start with an arc in this corner here, two, three points, and then I'm going to switch to a line. And then I'm going to switch to arc. Now, this whole pattern inside and outside with the logic trace system is only going to take me about two minutes. It's so fast, easy, and accurate. Just trace it with the pen stylus. Switch into a line. And I'm going to get a, a very accurate DXF file for loading into any CNC machine. Back to line here. I'm almost done with the outside and arc. I'm all done. It looks great. Okay, let's do the big circles next. I'm going to do the big circles as three-point circles. Just do any three points on the circle. There's the first one. There's the second one. And now for the smaller circles, I'm going to do one-point circles. I'm going to say that they are quarter-inch holes. And I'm just going to click a point right in the middle of the circle and put in those quarter-inch holes. So fast, so easy, so accurate. There it is. Now I've got these two other pieces. This one here, whoops, hit the wrong button. This one here, this piece, it's three arcs in a circle. So I'm, or three arcs in a line. So I'm gonna do first arc, second arc, third arc, straight line at the end, click stop. I got another one of those right here. Same thing, first arc, second arc, third arc, straight line. Now I've got this little thing here. I'm gonna start with an arc. Then a line, then an arc, then say stop. Looks good. I got one more of these. Start with an arc, a line, another arc. I'm all done. Let's redraw it. Looks great. Under two minutes, I have a great complicated design. Let's save the DXF file.